Property types are generally categorized by the zoning law that applies to that property. Zoning laws determine how the property can be used in order to create a more appealing and useful development. The three most common zoning designations are residential, commercial, and industrial. Most property falls into one of these three categories. However, zoning definitions can be different in different communities, counties, or states. Residential Properties Residential properties include single-family homes and multifamily buildings. Single-family homes are private, freestanding residential houses, while a multifamily building has more than one housing unit. Examples would be an apartment building, duplex, fourplex, condo, or townhome. Single-family homes and single-family lots are always residential property, but there can be crossover in other areas. For example, a multifamily apartment building is residential, but could also be considered commercial. When obtaining a loan on a multifamily property, banks consider any property with five or more apartments as commercial. The majority of real estate agents work with residential properties, and the home ownership rate is around 63%. Within the category of residential, agents can choose to concentrate their efforts in a certain area, depending on their skills and interests. Some agents prefer to work with buyers, while others want to work with sellers. Some agents might become experts with first-time buyers or decide they want to focus solely on luxury homes. Specializing has advantages because the agent can become an expert in a particular niche and build a reputation from that knowledge. Commercial Properties Commercial property is property used for profit-driven business purposes, such as retail stores, restaurants, or offices, shopping centers, hotels, Nursing homes and mobile home parks are also commercial property. Agents who specialize in commercial property sales need to have a good understanding of the business side of ownership. Commercial property, since it's used for business, could involve leases, rentals, tenants, maintenance, expenses, parking lots, and other elements not present in residential properties. If, for example, you are interested in restaurants, then you will have to know quite a lot about the restaurant business. You will need to know what the foot traffic to a given location is. If a given space has an entrance for customers and a separate entrance used for food delivery, in order for the restaurant to be compliant with the stringent safety regulations. Also, you will have to know how competing restaurants in the region are doing as well as how long it will take a restaurant on average to break even after moving in a new location. These are all factors that will affect a restaurant owner's decision when making the decision to purchase or lease a space. Mixed Use Properties Mixed use is a combination of commercial and residential real estate. An example of mixed use would be an area where there are storefronts on the ground floor and residential spaces above. Another possibility would be an apartment building with retail or business space included. Typically, the residential portion is greater than the commercial portion of the whole building. One of the driving forces behind the popularity of mixed use is the desire of residents to have retail shops and restaurants within walking distance. For example, people can live in apartments above stores, restaurants, and coffee shops with easy foot access to their apartments. Businesses also like the ability to build loyalty by having customers nearby. Getting a mortgage for a residential property is a different process from getting financing for commercial real estate. The income generating potential will be a consideration and other factors could come into play that will require additional information about the property and the buyer. Industrial Properties Industrial properties can include factories or warehouses and can range from small to enormous. They can cover a wide variety of applications. In addition to assembly and production, 
There can be distribution, warehousing, and research and development. Agents who work with industrial property should know the business aspects of commercial property, but should also have an understanding of what the different needs are based on use. Manufacturers might want proximity to transportation for delivering their products. Tech companies might be looking for access to an educated labor force. A company like Amazon, who is shipping a lot of goods, needs a lot of warehouse space in various locations throughout the country in order to be closer to consumers and ensure a fast delivery. This is very different than a company like Tesla, who is producing electric cars and batteries and has just a few really large facilities in the United States. Agricultural Properties Agricultural property can be farms or ranches. These properties are generally intended to be income-producing, but can be for personal use as well. They can vary greatly in size, from family farms and ranches to large commercial projects. Agricultural property is used to grow and harvest crops, or raise, breed, and care for livestock, such as cows, horses, pigs, sheep, or goats. The zoning of agricultural property helps protect it from having residential activity interfere with the operations of the ranch or farm, and distances residential areas from the sounds and smells of farming operation. Special Purpose Special Purpose or Special Use Real Estate includes schools or churches. Special Purpose means the property is characterized by the specific reason it was constructed. These are properties that are not easily converted to another application. For example, a school could not be turned into an apartment building, or a church could not become a grocery store without difficulty. This is an area where the zoning doesn't necessarily define the category. When Congress passed the Religious Land Use and Institutionalized Persons Act of 2000, RLU-IPA, it was designed to protect religious institutions from zoning discrimination. This means that while a house of worship might most often be found in a commercial area, it could also be in a residential area with the appropriate permit. Special purpose properties can present a challenge when determining value, since the property is unusual enough that comparables are not common. Vacant Land Vacant land is land that has no improvements added to it. Sometimes called raw land, this property is usually purchased with future use in mind. Therefore, zoning is an important consideration. Land can be found in the city or rural area and can be residential, commercial, or industrial. It can be purchased to develop a subdivision, to build a single building, for an industrial complex or offices. If purchased with the intent to develop, the availability of water, gas, electricity, and septic should be investigated. Cell phone service could be a factor, depending on what the purchaser wants to do with the land. Easements for utilities and the previous use of the property can affect the value or attractiveness of the land. If rural, the ability to access the property in all kinds of weather might be an issue. In order to understand the characteristics of the property types in your area, it helps to know the zoning classifications. If you decide to specialize, familiarizing yourself with the features of the category you choose will help you become an expert your buyers and sellers will appreciate.